that we came to Chile yes. first. Yeah. So, to be honest, I don't remember that much about <laughs> it because I was I, I just remember that the audience was good. It was really a good show, and I just uh, had so much energy, and I was slightly tense about the whole thing and everything. So it went just way too fast. Yeah. All the things, but but I do remember that it was a good time. Good. I mean, we haven't been there for a long time now. Six years. Uh, uh, like I said, it was the first time that I I came to the band, mm -hmm. and it was in I think it was in 2002 that we came over there last time. So it's been six years. So hopefully, hopefully people do still remember us. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, actually, the band is really, really popular between metal audience. I can assure okay, that. That is, that is good. So really? I think we're going to be doing a good show and hopefully people will go as crazy as that was yeah. six years before. You can take that for sure. So in that way it makes it easier to communicate in some places and still, of course, we gotta remember as in like past days that there's a, there's, a, there's a girl in the band and they, they need a little bit extra care, okay, mm -hmm. like, that, that has to be remembered. Mm -hmm. People have really liked the sh they have really liked the shows and they've uh, they bought the album and come to the shows and they, people have shown us really good support everywhere we've been around the world, yeah. Australia also and all that. But of course this is the first time that we've come with a new lineup to the South America so that'll be interesting as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you must be very happy about it. I don't know, how come? <laughs> No, for the audience response, and people is buying the album, everybody is, is okay about the Dark Passion Play album. Yes, yes, that has been really good. Yeah, that's what... Well, mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't know what, what the situation is there, what kind of reviews we did get with the people and with the magazines in South America. I can't really read Spanish or Portuguese or anything, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what, what's the situation up there, but uh, what you said that there's going to be people and they're going to go wild, so that sounds good to me. Mm, I don't know, that is a little bit a strong word, like rebirth. I mean, there's uh -huh. the four of us guys, and of course, Thomas is the main man responsible for the music, uh, with some additional help from me and Mr. A. Wardenen as well. But still, I think uh, like the like the spirit and the main elements are still there. Uh -huh. And well, of course, the fifth element, the vocalist changes, definitely affects things. But then again, I. Uh, uh, but still, this was kind of an album which we rehearsed and arranged and did all kinds of decisions and recorded it mostly already mm -hmm. by just the four of us guys. So, I, I, I don't see it, that, it, it differing that much from the mm -hmm. past, except for the sound of the vocal. Right. Yeah. And I, think, I think they are looking to the surface. If you go and listen to the stuff as a band, you hear that there are definitely the familiar elements. 
and then there's a lot of new stuff which we also have been fighting ourselves figuring out every time there's an hour. Yeah, you're right. Apocalyptica, you got like totally different kind of recipes sure. doing music. And they're all metal. Still they're getting really good like mm -hmm. international attention as well. 